I'm Jacqueline Nurse and I run uh, the presence of David Crook projects in Cape Town. We have a gallery and a bookstore and as well as an outreach um, program and an education program here and it's my job to make sure that all that runs smoothly. The Joburg locations are really the, the heart of the organisation, they're really the mothership um, so the uh, most important space um, at the moment being the, the workshop. That's where a lot of the work, um, is, well all of the work is made. It's quite an experimental space and it always has been um, and that really, that really is the, the kind of the real crux of, of um, our production. Um, in New York, uh, there's a very, it's a very similar presence in New York to what you have in Cape Town. It's, it's right in the heart of the gallery district though, um, in Chelsea. Uh, it's a very important location for us because it's where we connect with all our international associates. Cape Town is also a smaller office. Um, we, ha we do have quite a diverse um, exhibition schedule, uh, but uh, Cape Town is definitely more uh, the space for writers. It's also where our outreach and education hub is. Um, that we uh, promote dynamism is by not um, engaging in any kind of silo mentality. So we engage with cultural practitioners on, over quite a diverse range of activities. So we don't limit ourselves just to working with visual artists. We work quite often with musicians and writers and, and that helps us to keep, um, keep things dynamic. I think that um, uh, that collaborative energy is really what um, what makes us very different. We don't work with artists in a traditional way, so we really are interested in building careers in the long term by not um, locking ourselves into too formal an exhibition schedule or too, for too formal a, a way of defining our activities that allows us to uh, work with lots of different people in lots of different ways and thereby everybody benefits. Uh, William um, and David have been working together for a very long time now. Uh, David's been publishing William's work since the, since the early 90s and it really is a professional relationship that's grown up around um, printmaking. William's love of printmaking, David's love of, of publishing and it's a, it's a very strong um, relationship between an artist and a publisher. The Multiple Art Day Fair, or, or MAD, um, as it's now <laughs> coming to be known, is, is quite exciting. It's a new, it's a new fair. It's it's really nice to to see an interest in, in multiples and a fair just for multiples. But you also um, have access to a very particular audience who understands multiples, which is which is a lot of the time quite rare. Um, no, you know, not, not not that many people understand how important they are. This is the first one uh, this this year and we'll be taking part in, in, in it. Um, we're taking a small selection of work, so it's not a, it's not a, big, it's not a big fanfare, um, but we're really looking forward to it, and I hope it's a great success. Well, we continue to work with um, a, a diverse range of people. This um, installation behind me is by um, Stephen Hobbs. Um, we've been uh, working on a body of work that's evolving over a number of years. Um, our exhibition schedule in Joburg also keeps, um, keeps getting stronger. We, we are focusing at the moment on group shows there. In Cape Town, we, um, we are, are, are shifting our focus slightly more towards workshop-oriented activities, so we're quite excited about a couple of, um, of workshops we've got going in the next couple of months. Um, we've got a writing workshop running with Joanne Richards um, in May and June. We've got a, a music workshop uh, with Derek Gripper at the end of the month, um, so we're quite interested to see how that uh, changes, changes the way things happen in our space in Cape Town.